Rafael Diaz Balerli, aka Rafinha, has become Barcelona's top summer transfer target. The Brazilian is fighting to keep a spot in the Premier League with Leeds United. But Xavi sees him as a perfect player for Barcelona for a reason. And now we'll show you why. Subscribe to our channel if you still watch our videos without a subscription and sit back. Let's begin. Rafinha is 26 and he's been with Leeds since 2020. Most of the matches in his career he played on the right wing of the attack. If necessary, he can also cover the left wing. With Marcelo Bielsa, he played several matches in a position in the center of attack and as a central attacking midfielder. Xavi sees Rafinha as a right-wing player. He should be a replacement for Usman Dembele, who is highly likely to leave the club. However, Barcelona will have to withstand competition from other top clubs. So, Rafinha's first strong side is advancing the ball. The Brazilian is not just waiting for the pass, he deliberately drops in order to receive that pass. It's common to think that the players on the wings of the attack do not play a key role in advancing the ball. Rafinha is the best in Leeds in doing this. It's also important that the Brazilian doesn't do this situationally, but tries to participate in such episodes as often as possible. Here's an example from the match against Leicester. Rafinha went back to receive the ball, did a wall pass with a partner and moved into space. This maneuver cut off three opponents from the game and allowed him to create a threat to the last goal, where three Leeds players were in position to receive the pass at once. Another example is from the match against Aston Villa, where the Brazilian advances the ball through a pass. Despite close guarding by Luca Dinge, Rafinha does a push and run with a partner, gets freed from guardianship for a second and gives an excellent true pass between the opponents. As a result, Leeds gets a sharp opportunity to attack the goal. In both examples shown above, Rafinha was heavily guarded, but he found a way to get away from opponents and sharpen the game. So maybe one shouldn't play with him man to man and run after him when he retreats into the depths of the field won't work. In this case, Rafinha is allowed to easily handle the ball and the opponent is immediately punished with an aggravating pass. As a result, a dangerous moment at the West Ham goal. And here's one more example. In addition to intelligence, the Brazilian also gives a technically complex pass here. Confirming how well Rafinha moves the ball through passing, he is second only to Bruno Fernandes in the so-called smart passes this season in the Premier League. A smart pass is a creative pass which attempts to break the opposing defensive line. Another important advantage of Rafinha is his work on counter-attacks or just quick attacks. We have already mentioned that he can aggravate both by moving the ball on his own and giving aggravating passes. When counter-attacking, the speed of decision-making and action is of key importance. In this example, Rafinha receives a long pass from the goalkeeper and delivers a great pass with the outside of his foot to a teammate. As a result, a killer moment at the opponent's goal. In this episode of the match against Everton, he did an excellent job moving the ball from his own half of the pitch to the opponent's penalty area. And after waiting for the moment, found a partner with a true pass between three opponents. Like any other attacking Brazilian, Rafinha's strength is dribbling. It should be noted that his style is more reminiscent of Angel Di Maria's work with the ball than his countrymen like Neymar or Ronaldinho. Rafinha's dribbling is very versatile. He is able to perform tricks of any complexity. He can go against several opponents at once. But besides that, he knows how to extract other benefits from his skills which is what distinguishes him from his colleagues. 
We're talking about the ability to pull several opponents onto himself and due to this give a pass to a partner in a more advantageous position. Here, for example, he pulled Andy Robertson and Virgil van Dijk onto himself and made a pass to an uncommon partner. Another example is from the match against Crystal Palace. In general, when it comes to attacking performances, Rafinha is number one at Leeds on a variety of stats. Those are expected goals and assists, passes into the box, advancing passes, successful dribbles, and fouls won. Separately, it's worth noting Rafinha's variability. As a left-footed winger playing on the right, he doesn't slip into banal shifts to the center with a shot on target. At the same time, he has an excellent shot and he scored many times after such shifts in a style of Arjen Robe. The Brazilian knows how to find non-standard solutions, he can give both short and medium passes. When shifting to the goal line, he can both bend and make a short pass to the oncoming partner. And this is exactly what drew the attention of such clubs as Barcelona, Bayern and Liverpool. But not only that. What makes Rafinha an unusual Brazilian winger is his contribution to the team's defensive work. In today's football, it's hard to become the star of a top club if you ignore this part of the game. The game under Marcelo Bielsa's management improved Rafinha's skill in working without the ball. He is in the top 5 attacking players in the Premier League for successful defensive actions and in the top 10 for number of duels per 90 minutes. The same goes for interceptions with tackles. Rafinha is in the top in both among attacking players. His past also played its part in what made Rafinha such a desirable player. He got his football education in Brazilian local tournaments called Varzea. Varzea is a brutal competition where there was no place for pity, and the players played on clay and sand in unbearable heat. The kid? Forget it, one team played with their jerseys, and those guys were rejected from professional club academies. There was rage in their game, they played to survive, as if their lives depended on it. Waste haven, people like me, Rafinha recalled those times. Rejections by the Brazilian giants' academies hardened him as well. Internacional and Grêmio refused to take the boy. But in 2016, an important event happened in Rafinha's career. Deco, a former Barcelona and Chelsea footballer, noticed him and signed him to his agency. As a result, Rafinha ended up in Portugal, where in transit through Vitoria Guimarães, he ended up at Sporting and together with Bruno Fernandes won Taca de Portugal. Then there was a season at Rennes, a move to Leeds and Marcelo Bielsa's school. What next? We'll have to wait and see. Oh yeah, here's another funny episode from Rafinha's career. His transfer from Rennes to Leeds was known in advance, when the French league has not yet ended. The Brazilians scored a goal and assisted, but the fans were still very upset by the player's departure and shouted to him, go to your fish and chips country. Leeds reacted to this and announced the player's transfer with this photo. Oh, the British humor. Guys, tell us in the comments below which club would you like to see Rafinha in next season and drop us a like if you enjoy this video format with tactical analysis of players. Your feedback is very important to us. Thanks for your attention. See ya!